Good afternoon and welcome to the studio here at Distributech 2019. With me this afternoon I have Tom Reddick who is a Principal Technical Executive for EPRI. Tom, thank you so much for taking the time to join us this afternoon. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to share our research ideas with you. Speaking of research, when we initially discussed this uh, interview, it was going to be about virtual metering. But mm -hmm. since having had the opportunity to talk to you, I realized that it's about a lot more. Can you talk about the research that you have been doing, please? Over the last three years, we've conducted a field test where we have explored the functionality of a new circuit breaker device, something we call the energy management circuit breaker. This is an intelligent breaker that allows us to measure and control individual loads by circuit. And that is, it. as we go to the circuit panel and we look at the circuit breaker itself that's in there, we replace it with this smart device and we're able to actually now remotely control through Wi-Fi the ability to turn that uh, load off or on. And we're also able to measure five different things. We can measure the wattage, the VARs uh, in that circuit along with the voltage and current, and an extra piece, the frequency, which could have very unusual applications, especially in the case of solar energy. Now, one of the benefits that you mentioned um, from all of this data that was being collected was the ability to identify load profiles. Are they changing from what we traditionally know as a load profile? Absolutely. Over the last 10 years, we have uh, introduced a lot of electronics into the everyday devices that we use. And the result of this uh, has significantly changed usage patterns of, of an assortment of end uses, especially something that might include a motor. And these, uh, these changes uh, uh, also have been influenced by increased efficiency of devices. So many of our traditional measurement patterns that we had have changed. And uh, many, many utilities suspended their load research work that they did so intensely uh, several years ago. And, and as a result, there's an opportunity now to, with modern measurement equipment to get fresh load shapes, and these load shapes really reflect where we are today. You mentioned earlier as well that in the field research, there were some unexpected results that uh, were discovered. Could you elaborate? <laughs> Certainly. So one of the things is really clear. Until we actually explore, we don't discover. Okay. So this device that we have, the Energy Management Circuit Breaker, has opened the doorway to a lot of fresh exploration because we can measure and we can control all from a single station. So uh, as we began to field deploy this and look at use cases, uh, our participants really uh, opened the book in terms of, well, what kind of novel things may we do with this device? So uh, one, one of our utility members actually introduced the idea uh, that uh, there was a fresh business opportunity uh, in, uh, in a most unusual application in a donut shop. Donut shops are notorious for having many coffee pots. And coffee pots sometimes fail to get turned off. And a coffee pot that doesn't get turned off becomes a potential opportunity for a fire. And so what they were envisioning doing was putting in a coffee pot control program. And what this okay. would uh, what this would uh, uh, allow is the assurance at the end of the business day that all pots were off and fire exposure was reduced. That's a unique idea. I love it. I love it. That's definitely thinking outside of the box. So, 
what are the next steps with the research and the product development? Well, we just uh, completed three years of uh, field testing in our so-called phase one field experiment with a dozen utilities. And we learned a lot about the operating features of the energy management circuit breaker because this was the first, this was the first uh, independent field test evaluation. And until you go to the field, you don't really know. Laboratory, yeah. laboratory you know, guides us, but uh, it was the field test that enlightened us. And so as we launch into this phase two, then we're going to be testing a new device, a new version that incorporates experience from the field test. We're going to look at expanded uh, software interface uh, and a far simpler way to engage the device in an app type fashion rather than where we did all the hard coding. And I, I tend to take a lot of personal ownership here when I say we, this device developed by the Eaton Corporation is certainly uh, their property, but uh, at the Institute, we're really looking to uh, take cutting edge technology, verify its performance to open up new opportunities, new business opportunities. Unfortunately, that is all the time that we have available today, but thank you very much for your time with us today.